My 58th birthday is coming up on September the 15th. And look at this. For 58, I just colored my hair. I went to Sally Beauty and I bought this. Isn't that cute? It looks really, they had a sale. And I, this is my favorite barrette. I'm actually wearing a, uh, you can't see, a barrette that I just got at Sally Beauty. It's my favorite because I can lay flat, you know, and exercise because it's a flat barrette. This looks up. Uh, and I got this today. They had a they had a buy one get one free sale. And so this is the hair coloring that I've been using. Uh, I started off using L'Oreal in 2001. My mother taught me how to color my hair. I never uh, I just colored my hair this uh, this morning. I'm I'm actually doing pretty good with gray. I I'm getting some like right here and right here. And um, the color, I like Age Beautiful because it's really good for women that are in menopause. <laughs> so this is really good. It's, um, uh, this is what I use. It's the uh, Age Beautiful. I get it from Sally Beauty Supply. I use the Dark Ash Blonde. And it kind of tones the blackness and it gives me brown hair, which is nice on me. And then I use the uh, Age Beautiful. This is the cream developer cream for those of you who color your own hair. Color your own hair. I can't use the L'Oreal anymore, L'Oreal, because that one just dries my hair. And because when a woman gets older, her hair gets thinner, and when the gray start coming in, it makes it more brittle. So, um, but I so I did it this morning, and. Um, I do it myself, though I can't cut my own hair, so I have to rely on a beautician for that. And a lot of times the Jesuits will get my beautician, so I'm actually thinking of switching beauticians because the last uh, cut that my beautician gave me, she cut it way too short. And anyways, um, I'm still taking Seroquel every day, and so this is this. I finally got my hair to look healthy in 2011 because my body was changing and I I think my body wasn't making as much much estrogen my hair started get started getting really thin and looked brittle and kind of fizzy so I switched to this and I use age beautiful shampoo cream rinse hair color and that has pretty much solved my problem uh, they were out of um, and another I also like to use um, like sulfate free shampoos that seems to get along better with, with my hair so anyways um, I'm still doing the facelift exercises and um, it, it is helping as you can see for 58 you know it's uh, it seems to be helping a little bit I weigh about right now my weight between 135 to 138 pounds and but I am doing waist um, exercises. I go for a walk, half an hour a day. So I kind of like you know. So it's like 32 waist, 39 and a half breast, 39 and a half hips. I don't tend to gain weight in my arms and my legs. Usually when I gain weight, it goes right up in this area. <laughs> but. Um, I'm still at a healthy weight. Jesus said this is a healthy weight. He said, when you weighed 124 pounds, Gail, you were not healthy. You had, uh, your cells were famished for food. The yeast toxin was getting it first. So. This is what I look like at 138. Um, one thing that I'm going to do is Brent's been talking to me brain to brain, I think, and, and he told me, Gail, get he said be willing to spend a little extra money to get lean ground beef so I'm going to be doing that because um, I'm um, probably better for the cholesterol levels and everything but so I'll be doing that but uh, other than that my diet actually my diet is pretty healthy so anyways this is what I look like I would rather have a little bit of weight on me than be skinny and unhealthy and I have seen women that so but you know I, so I'm, I'm five seven small boned 
uh, weigh about 135 to 138. Actually, I think it's like 137 right now. And um, uh, I think once I switch over to lean ground beef, it'll go down a little bit more. But, <laughs> but, but I think I'm developing some muscle. Uh, I've noticed that. Let me see if I can get this to fix here. Um, yeah, I think I'm developing some muscle. And because uh, Jesus told me to walk, so I walk half an hour a day. I'm doing some waist exercises, and um, I'm doing some arm exercises. So even though I may have a little bit of flab on me, it's um, it's toned. My body's pretty toned. So this is the conclusion I've drawn. If you have some weight on you, but you're toned and you have nice skin and you have a pretty face you can still be hot. And I believe hot enough that some of those 20-somethings out there that don't have any inner beauty, and all they have is a body, they can't even get near you. So, you know, there, I've, this, uh, I actually think I look better now at 137 pounds than I did when I weighed 122 or 23 pounds. Because I didn't look healthy when I weighed 122 and 23 pounds. You looked at my face, you could see that my body was fighting a systemic yeast infection. So I look healthy. So, um, and um, yeah, look at, see, I'm 50, I'm, basically I'm 58. But I don't look 58. I look something like, I'd say, between 32 to 40. It's because the Seroquel is actually like an antioxidant. takes out toxins. So this is for all you women out there that are beautiful on the inside. And, uh, and you worry about some woman out there who's got like, um, model figure. I don't know. You know, I, I read the measurements of the models at Wikipedia and I look at them and they look fatter than me and they have better measurements than me. So I don't get it. Maybe they're lying. <laughs> so anyways, um, I wouldn't exactly call myself fat because I did the, um, I went to my, to the Mayo Clinic website and I, entered the information and I am at a healthy weight. This is healthy. So um, I, I don't want to go higher. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get lean. I'm going to get, get from now on, I, I'm going to refuse to buy beef unless it's lean. And um, so anyways, this is for my guys. I uh, think for 58, I, it does help if you if the gray start coming in. If you color your hair, it does make you look a little younger. I do the facelift exercises, so um, I really like Age Beautiful. So you get it from Sally Beauty Supply. Uh, you, you look at some of the videos of me in 2011. My hair was like frizzy. I, I didn't look healthy. I was using Walmart shampoo because I worked there then. <laughs> and, or the shampoo they had there, and they just don't, they don't have anything that agrees with with my menopause hair, you know. <laughs> so I had to get go to Sally Beauty Supply. This is almost the same cost as the L'Oreal. Um, this costs like maybe about. Well, I get I have their I'm a member of the beauty club, so I get a discount. So this is like six something. And then you can get this big bottle, which, la which lasts you forever for like five bucks. Then you have to get the applicator bottle and your gloves. And, um, and make sure you buy the um, Age Beautiful Conditioner and an Age Beautiful Shampoo. And then you're in business. Look at this. Look, this looks, look, you could even see a shine on the hair. And this is, uh, this is what the Age Beautiful... And maybe eating egg too. <laughs> I I eat some egg. I I like the Egglands best, so I get that because I get it for nutrition and eating seaweed. And uh, so, fifty-eight.
58. And on Seroquel, and I think I look better than I did at 52 and 3 when I was skinny as a rail and didn't look healthy.